Wow. Wow. What a show. Awesome. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone. We are in a great, great mood. The weather's changing. Spring is here. Spring is here. I heard the first tweets of spring. <laughs> Any mean ones on Twitter? No, not, not those, those messages you got on Twitter. No. I mean from the tweets from our flying friends. They left a different kind of message. Okay. <laughs> on your windshield. Okay, all right, very funny. That's not why we're here. We are, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of a, an up with people kind of guy. Really? Yes. And I always look for the bright side. Really? Yes, Romeo. And we are going to share that with you guys here this evening. What do you mean? In the midst of everything. And I know it's been tough and I know it's been difficult, but there's always a bright side. And that is that this mask that we need to wear all the time has been a boon for my industry because this has been the biggest thing. This, this has been the biggest revolution in the business of ventriloquism <laughs> since vaudeville. Yeah, you should leave it on. Yes, it's, it's been incredible because for a ventriloquist to say something like Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, you do it. Now put the mask on. All right, if I put the mask on, go ahead. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. See, it's perfect. <laughs> Did you say Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers? Yes, I did. This thing smells terrible. <laughs> I was using it for a hamster hammock. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's awful. You know what? There's always a bright side. You can always find stuff is coming back. Like what? For example, sports are back. Whoa. We love sports. I love golf. You watch on TV? I wa you know that I do, buddy. Why? I love to watch golf on TV. Why do the announcers whisper? The announcers whisper so they don't interrupt the, the, the players as they're teeing off or putting. No. Okay, why do the announcers whisper? They don't want to wake the people who are watching at home. Oh, wow, stop it. <laughs> Pro baseball's back, National Hockey League. Who pays the hockey players? What do you mean? Who pays NHL players? National Hockey League players are paid by the owners of the teams. No. Okay, fine, Romeo. Who pays hockey players? The Tooth Fairy. <laughs> wow, that's just mean. Because uh, you, maybe you're not familiar, but sometimes hockey players run into each, each other so hard they lose a tooth. Tooth Fairy. Okay, Romeo. <laughs> fine, fine. Ventriloquism is, has, been, has had a boom, not just because of the mask, because we've been doing a lot of virtual shows for children's hospitals. Yes, we have. Which has been a lot of fun. And Romeo, mm-hmm. <laughs> what is this? What? This whole thing you're doing. What? This is like shimmy. What? This right here. I'm not doing this. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing this. <laughs> what is this called? Attitude. Attitude. <laughs> Who taught you this? Keith, the announcer. Oh, come on, now stop it. No, no. No, what are you doing? No, you're gonna sit down right here. No, 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 no. I wanna need Elizabeth's half of that. I wanna, oh, sorry, you just stay there. Oh, yeah. Let's go to church one time. And I know it's been tough over the last year or so, but I appreciate you guys being here this evening. We're gonna get our peace back. We're gonna get our joy back. We're gonna get our life back. We're gonna get our swag back. We are all right now a little bit like Paul on the road to Damascus. Only right now, we're on the road to demask us. Right? Oh, we're gonna get our swag back. Yes, we are. And I know when they brought me up here this evening, a lot of people out there, right in this audience and the folks at home, and right here, even Keith, the announcer, and the band are all looking at me, and they're saying, well, my goodness, who is this guy, Taylor Mason? Well, I want you all to look at it this way. My name is Taylor Mason, and I am not Jay Leno, and I'm not Jerry Seinfeld, and I'm not Chris Rock. I'm someone that Mr. Huckabee can afford. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna get our swag back. Yes, we are, we're gonna take it back. I've been playing the piano since I was a little boy. I learned how to play the piano from Mrs. Randall, my, uh, my music director at the Deer Park Memorial First Baptist Congregational First Church of the Nazarene Pentecostal Methodist and Presby <laughs> Presbyterian Lutheran Synagogue and Temple. And she was an old school stride piano player, you know. She always said, if you can play like this, you'll be the hit of every party. I got hit at every party. <laughs> All the other kids would come to show and tell. They'd have Tonka trucks and dolls and video games. I'd come in and play Bach. And it was so neat because the class would rise as one, come forward and beat the living daylights out of me. All right, thanks a lot, everybody. Welcome, Romeo. Welcome back. Thank you, Governor. Yep. You called him Mr. Huckabee. Yes, Governor. You yep. can call me whatever you want to. You are the man. You know, you're nice enough. I know you would never call me anything like I get called most of the time out there in the public. So I, I hear you, man. We yeah. were just in Arkansas, as a matter of fact. Yes. <laughs> we were just in Arkansas. We were at the Grove Comedy Club Where up are you? in Lowell. Yeah. They all said hello. Hello back. Yeah, exactly. Arkansas, man. I hope you had a good time. We had a great time. We stayed in a trailer. Oh, come on. Oh, stop it. Stop it. No, we, we had a great time. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for having us back. Thanks Taylor, us back great to show. have you back. We loved you before. We still do. Thank you. Uh, you know, your comedy, I, of all the things you did, when you said the road to demask us, obviously the audience <laughs> loved that because all of us are ready for this world of ours to move past the mask and COVID and start being normal again, whatever exactly. normal looks like anymore. Exactly, and you know, you know, there's a reason that I, that obviously there's a reason that I do everything. You're losing your mind, shush. <laughs> there's a reason that I do everything. You're thinking for two, shush, man. <laughs> you guys don't know what it's like. All right, Romeo, you made your point. Everything, everything, and especially it seems like for the last year is almost biblical, you know, mm. with what we're going through. And so we are definitely on the road to de I do feel like Paul these days on the road to demask us. Okay, exactly. All right. <laughs> You've been doing these shows for children in hospitals. This I think that's fun. so powerful. You know, for us, it, it has been, the organization is called Win Win Entertainment. Mm. Uh, they're always looking for donations. We do it, it has gotten me through, we have done a hundred of them. Wow. Uh, sometimes what they do is they'll give the kids an iPad or something uh -huh. and are right in front of the kid. Yeah, yeah. right, child, right. <laughs> right there, hello, child. Okay. And they can see your lips smooth. Okay, man. <laughs> Keith, all right. Yeah, that's it, that's all. just stay there. Oh, come on, man, come on. And we do these programs for these kids. It's been, it has gotten me through this. I look forward to doing the programs. I'm doing two, I'm already, for this coming week, I'll be doing Summerlin out in Las Vegas and Sunrise Children's Hospital in Las Vegas on Monday and Tuesday, and we'll probably do a couple more. It's been, it has been for me the greatest part of this entire, as I said, there's always something to be found. There's always an opportunity, even I in love, the depths of all this. I love your attitude. It's something we need more of. People who aren't grumpy and gripey all the time, like Romeo has been sometimes, but I love you, Romeo. <laughs> But I think it's important, by the way, I want to mention, because when you were here before, I talked about your book, Irreversible. Yes. I read the whole thing. I, I found it very compelling, and I loved the, the, just the power of the story. It, it's an insight into what it's like to be an on-the-road entertainer. It's a nightmare. It's, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it is an entertaining book. You've been with us twice. you got to promise that you'll be here again. Anytime, Make Governor. it a third Anytime, time. like, shush, oh my gosh. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, Keith Bilbrey. Tell us how we can see more from Taylor Mason. All right, for more of Taylor's hilarious videos, his blog, his calendar, and to book him for your venue or event, visit taylormason.com. You can also get his merchandise there, including his comedy concert download, Laugh Away Hunger, and autographed copies of his book, Irreversible. <laughs>